If you're hungry, you're going to love this next stop on Destination Virginia. Be prepared to have your taste buds tantalized as we check out this farm to table restaurant in Virginia Beach, Simple Eats. Welcome to Destination Virginia. Today we're at Simple Eats on Shore Drive in Virginia Beach. It's a farm to table restaurant, and Karen, I have to tell you, I'm a freezer to table kind of guy. <laughs> what is farm to table? Well, farm to table simply means that they take the ingredients straight from the farm, the chef prepares them, and delivers them as a fresh, delicious meal to you at the table. Yum! But don't take my word for it. Let's go talk to an expert. Simple Eats is something that my wife and I have put together over the last few years. Um, we decided after probably 10 to 15 years of being in the business to bring out a restaurant. Decided that we were going to do something different and work with the local community, the farmers, the purveyors to bring um, something that's different to everyone. We're not a frozen restaurant. We don't serve frozen food. We don't have fryers. We don't have microwave. Everything's handmade. A lot of our stuff comes from the, within the vicinity of 300 miles in Virginia, North Carolina, Maryland. In Delaware, uh, we do our Brasstown beef steaks. Um, we do North Carolina shrimp and tuna. Uh, we have oysters uh, from the Eastern Shore. About four times a year, we try to switch out our menu based on the proteins and produce that is available. Generally, between the first of the summer, end of the summer, fall, and winter, uh, we'll switch out our menu. During this winter time, it kind of decreases with the amount of items we offer to, based on you know being in Virginia. But outside of that, when you come here, you're going to get a fresh food. Some of the things that we offer on our menu are fresh salads. Uh, we have a, a variety of farmers who do different types of lettuces, uh, produce, depending on the seasonal. We support our local farmers. And it's actually kind of neat because the farmers are out there. We actually get to talk to them and meet with them. Um, we, they show us what they have. And you know, in turn, they come back into the restaurant and visit us as well. A lot of people come here because they like the friendly atmosphere. You walk in the door, everyone's saying hello. Um, you walk in, we have uh, you know, our wait staff. They'll make sure that you're you know, taken care of. They talk about the menu. They know everything where the menu comes from. They can answer your questions. And if you have any special things uh, that you're allergic to, or vegan or you know, vegetarian, that we can accommodate any of those for you. We'll continue to learn more about Simple Eats throughout the course of this program, but while you're in the area, you have to check out the Cape Henry Lighthouse. Barry, did you know that it was the first federally funded lighthouse in the United States? Yes, and they completed it in 1792. Wow. And they'll let you go up the stairs inside the lighthouse, and when you get there, not only will you be out of breath, <laughs> uh, but you'll be able to see two great views of the Chesapeake Bay and the Atlantic Ocean. Let's take a look. Cape Henry Lighthouse is the first public works project in the United States of America. It was very important to uh, have a lighthouse here at the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay. A lot of shipwrecks were happening here, so they decided they needed a lighthouse to help mariners get in and out of the ports of Norfolk and Baltimore. It was first um, authorized by Congress in 1789. George Washington was the president, and he took a big interest in the lighthouse here. He actually appointed the first light keeper. He chose the contractor, who was John McCones Jr., and Alexander Hamilton all oversaw the construction of the lighthouse. First lit in November 17, 1792. It is not that hard to climb. Everybody thinks it is, but it is broken up to two separate climbs. You climb up to the base, you have a chance to enjoy the view from about 50 foot in elevation, take a seat, take a breath, and then you can climb the rest of the way up to the top of the lighthouse. And everybody that goes up there always comes back down and talks about how wonderful the view is. You can see a long ways. It's going to depend on how clear it is, but you can easily see with the naked eye all the way over to the eastern shore of Virginia, which is about 15 miles away. 
1881, that's when it was replaced by the lighthouse across the street, which we refer to as New Cape Henry. They actually thought the old lighthouse was in danger of falling down in the 1870s, so they had money appropriate and had the new lighthouse built. The last lightkeeper at Old Cape Henry became the first lightkeeper at New Cape Henry. Cape Henry is probably one of the most historic pieces of ground in the United States. It's the site of the first landing where the Jamestown settlers first landed at before establishing the Jamestown settlement. We have a national park. It's called Cape Henry Memorial. And what it has over there is the first landing cross that commemorates the Jamestown settlers first landing here in April of 1607. It also has a statue of Admiral Comte de Grasse, who was the French admiral who defeated the British fleet that was trying to relieve Cornwallis at Yorktown. Over at the National Park, they have a um, wooden walkway, has an overlook out on the end of it that you're standing right on top of the sand dune, looking over the Chesapeake Bay and the Atlantic Ocean. You can turn around and get a great picture of both lighthouses in the same frame from over there. It's the only place in the country you can get two lighthouses in the same shot together. That was amazing. If you're ever on Shore Drive in Virginia Beach, you have to stop in and see the incredible Cape Henry Lighthouse. Well, we're back at Simple Eats, an incredible farm-to-table restaurant also on Shore Drive in Virginia Beach. The food is fabulous and the space is vibrant and full of energy, so much so that a lot of people choose to celebrate their special events here. In fact, there's one going on right now and it looks like everyone's having so much fun. It's a great place to have a baby shower, an office party, a Christmas party. I love it. It's one-stop shopping, fantastic food, and a beautiful place to host your guests. Mm, it smells so good in here, Karen. When we come back, we're going to get into some of the great items on the menu here at Simple Eats. With seasonal menus sourced from local farmers markets, Simple Eats wonderful staff invites you for a truly unique dining experience. Host your Christmas and office parties or bridal and baby showers. Simple Eats on Shore Drive, Virginia Beach's most charming bistro. Welcome back to Destination Virginia. Today we're at an amazing farm to table restaurant on Shore Drive in Virginia Beach called Simple Eats. And with me happens to be an expert on the menu, Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Hi, nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. <laughs> I understand you are about to do something very exciting here and that is change out your menu to the fall menu. What does that mean? And that means changing a lot of the vegetables. We're going from uh, our squash, changing into butternut squash. We're going from our Mad Woman Creek Farms. We're finally getting into the winter greens. We're getting all of those nice greens back for our salads. So the salads are going to change. Some of our sandwiches, our flatbreads. Um, we have our, our meatloaf, our eddy. And um, it's changing to, we're finally getting those collard greens back for the eddy. So that's really exciting. We're really, we love the collard greens. You are making me so hungry right now. <laughs> good, good. Mouth watering. <laughs> right. Well, let's go inside right now. Karen is with the owner, Sandy, and she's going to be showcasing some of these incredible menu items. I have the best part of the show today. Sandy, you're one of the owners here at Simple Eats, and I hear that you are responsible for this amazing menu. I am. <laughs> and it, it must be a labor of love. It really is. This is all I've done my entire life, so... And I, by listening to my customers and our employees, we kind of all go together and, and make it work. Well, from the smell of it and the looks of it, you do it really well. Thank you. Now, I've also heard that the menu changes seasonally, but there are some regular, regular items on there so that the people coming back again and again can, can get their favorite item. I would really like to just go seasonal all together, but we also have customers who really love some of the staple items and we have to keep those. Well, yeah, sometimes you have that craving and you just need to go back and get right, it. Right. So it's good to have those kind of mainstays on the menu. And I am dying to know what this is. That is our flatbread. So it is goat cheese, roasted tomatoes from my garden. Your garden? Basil from my garden. And of course, not all year round do I have basil and tomatoes, but of course, in the summertime we do. So we, I use them. And what was the inspiration behind this item? Well, this is one that's been staple since day one. Oh. So I don't know if I had it somewhere or if it was just something we came up with, 
but it is delicious and it's simple. I mean, goat cheese, tomatoes, basil, and some honey glaze. Where I'm from, shrimp and grits isn't a thing, but here it is, and it's delicious, and I love it. And I want to know what's special about your shrimp and grits. Well, there's a lot of good things. We started out with just simple shrimp and grits, but then as, as we've evolved, we, um, we were with a North Carolina grit, now we're a stone Virginia grit, and then we have our um, North Carolina shrimp. Mm -hmm. We add our local sausages from Surrey. So just the combination, the bacon, the sausage, the shrimp, uh, it's amazing. <laughs> Bacon, sausage, and shrimp, that's all I need. Exactly, exactly. And it's everyone's favorite. And so, again, you can have it breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Oh, perfect. Yes. Now, these definitely caught my eye because I love poached eggs. My daughter and I call them little pockets of joy because when you cut into them, it just kind of <laughs> melts out on. So, what do you got here? Exactly. So, it's a cronut, um, which is a savory, like, croissant type of um, bun. Shaped like a donut? So, yep. Cronut. And then we have the crab meat, which we use from locally sourced. And then our poached eggs and our avocado, and it's amazing. And now are these home fries? Those are home fries, so those are um, Yukon potatoes. Sometimes we can source potatoes locally, sometimes mm -hmm. we can all year round. So these are Yukons because the potatoes have come to an end. Mm -hmm. um, but they're just as good. Gosh, it smells so delicious. I know you source most of your ingredients locally. Why is that so important to you? Well, I knew 10 years ago when I wanted to open a restaurant that I wanted to give back to the community. A lot of people don't know that we have all of this that we can locally source. And I've educated our customers that you can go and purchase these things from these farmers. To me, it's a huge difference. I mean, one, the taste, I can taste the difference in something that's been frozen and something that's fresh. Mm -hmm. Things that are fresh don't last as long. So you're not getting something that's been sitting in the pantry for a week and a half. Right, exactly. Oh, that's great. Do you find that you need to use fewer spices when you're cooking to bring out um, the flavors? Because fresh stuff is so good. It is. I, I do feel that we don't use too many ingredients. You're just keeping it simple and really highlighting right. the flavors of this amazing food already And has. even on our parties, we don't offer any salt and pepper or any seasonings because we always say it's ready to go and it's, it, you don't need to add. And usually no one ever asks for salt and pepper. And do you have any vegan items? We tell everyone that we can, anything you have, it has meat or any animal products in it and you want to take it out, we can do that. Oh, yes. Okay, so we got, well, we do have some on the menu, but it's anything that we offer. If you don't, like if you didn't want, if you just wanted the grits with the cheese, anything there, uh, we can take out. I like that. I like when you can ask for changes and it's not a big deal. Oh, or, it's you know? not a big deal. As a matter of fact, on the next menu, I'm going to put that on there. That, that's great. Yes. That's what people want to know. Yes. Now this, I have heard about your burger. So yes. tell me all about it. And I even put it on the sign. It says best burger in town. Oh my gosh. Because I really do think it it's the best burger. So again, it's the cronut. Um, most places use a brioche roll, but we wanted to go with the light savory. Mm -hmm. And then the beef is all natural grass-fed beef from Carolina. Gosh, it looks amazing. And this is, I imagine, a bestseller. Yes. I had to bring it on for the men. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So there are some very manly dishes here. Yes. And some lighter options. Sandy, this has been wonderful. I cannot wait to sink my teeth into some of this food. It looks so good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Barry, back to you. Thanks a lot, Karen. We're having a great time here at a private event at Simple Eats, a farm-to-table restaurant in Virginia Beach on Shore Drive. And uh, speaking of special events, I'm here with Derek. Derek, you uh, actually have been to a few special events here at Simple Eats. Uh, tell me about them. Yes, um, a couple of my colleagues mentioned this new restaurant that opened in Virginia Beach. Came out one day for lunch and the owners, Sandy and Eddie, were very great. They uh, treated us very well and we thought, why don't we see if we could have a corporate party here. Um, we had two parties here, they were very successful. Uh, had some casino tables, DJ and Eddie and Sandy were able to open up the restaurant and just do everything that we needed them to do. And obviously the food was great. We wouldn't have come back a second time if we didn't have a great time. It was just awesome. Now there's a lot of places you could have a special event, a party. Why did you choose Simple Eats? The owners were so nice to us and the restaurant was just so comfortable. It fit the style of our, our company and we knew we would just have a great time and that they would definitely uh, do everything they could to make sure we were satisfied. Somebody told me that during the evening you actually grabbed the microphone and started to sing. Is that? <laughs> Uh, we had a good time at the parties. <laughs> it was a great time. Our company uh, is, has a, enjoys itself at th this event, and um, we always look forward to coming back. Great. Special events, Christmas party, office party, um, rehearsal parties for getting married. Great place, Simple Eats, right here on Shore Drive in Virginia Beach. Thank you so much, Derek. Thank you. All right, coming up, <laughs> get ready, because we're going to... 
build your appetite for knowledge. With seasonal menus sourced from local farmers markets, Simple Eats Wonderful Staff invites you for a truly unique dining experience. Host your Christmas and office parties or bridal and baby showers. Simple Eats on Shore Drive, Virginia Beach's most charming bistro. Simple Eats, where we've been lucky enough to experience some of the culinary masterpieces here. I am digging this Krabby Benny. Barry, what's your favorite? I am loving this Sandy salad. And not only are you going to find fresh food on the menu, but you're also going to find local beer, wine, and spirits here at Simple Eats. If you don't know what you want, we've got a bunch of flights. We've got a mimosa flight, we have a beer flight. With, you can pick four of these beers on draft. We also have um, a Bloody Mary flight, which is really, really awesome because it's from Vir our mayor of Virginia Spirits, like our Virginia vodka. We make our own Bloody Mary mix with from our tomatoes from our garden, and if you really are indecisive, that's where you want to go is those Bloody Mary flights. Not only is our food amazing, but our drinks are just as good. Come check them out. Local farm to table right here at the bar, too. Great food is not the only thing you'll find in Virginia Beach. There's so much history here. What you may not know, just a stone's throw away is a center for new age thinking. This metaphysical center attracts open-minded thinkers from all over the world. The next destination on our tour is Edgar Cayce's A.R.E. Edgar Casey was the most documented psychic of all time. For 43 years of his adult life, he could close his eyes, tune into anyone anywhere in the world, and answer questions about that individual. Most often, the questions related to health, but eventually he explored more than 10,000 different topics. ARE stands for the Association for Research and Enlightenment. Uh, Edgar Casey's dream was to have an organization where people could come and explore things like their physical health, uh, their mental well-being, and their connection to God, regardless of their religious persuasion. The organization is not a religious movement. It does address personal spirituality where people can learn how to meditate. They can learn how to be more effective with prayer. Uh, Casey's goal was to found an organization that could bring together the religions of the world. When Edgar Casey founded ARE in 1931, uh, Virginia Beach was a very small city. There were approximately 300 full-time residents. Uh, Casey picked Virginia Beach, he said, for several reasons. One, that his psychic ability would work best near large bodies of water. We're on the Virginia Beach ocean front across the street from the Atlantic Ocean. He also said that eventually Virginia Beach would become one of the largest resort cities on the East Coast. At the time when he said that, this was science fiction. Today it has become fact. Our visitor center has free programs year-round. Uh, our conference department offers approximately two conferences a month. We have programs on holistic health. We have programs on personal spirituality. We pr have programs on working with your intuition and becoming more psychic. We have programs on interpreting your dreams. We also have one of the largest metaphysical uh, libraries in the country, probably second only to the Vatican. And so this is a destination for many, many people. The, the topics in the Edgar Casey readings are vast. Uh, to be sure, the greatest topic is health and holistic health. And for that reason, we have a spa here where people can come and get everything from a chiropractic adjustment to esteem, to uh, regression, to acupuncture, uh, you name it. Massage, we have probably the best massage available on the East Coast. The labyrinth is based on the labyrinth at the Chart Cathedral in France. Uh, and basically the idea is that uh, you come with a question perhaps, you become centered, and you slowly walk the labyrinth, kind of setting the question outside of your mind. And many people have said that just by walking through the la labyrinth kind of in a, a self-meditation, when they get to the end of the labyrinth, they have insights into their question. So people come here oftentimes to see the international headquarters for themselves, 
to take part in one of our programs. They could spend an hour, they can spend a day, they can spend a week. The organization is open to the public year-round and all are invited. Casey used the expression, come and see. So Barry, do you think I can manifest away all of the calories I've had today? Um, I don't think it works that way. We've had a great time at Simple Eats. Remember, they're open for breakfast, lunch, and an early dinner. And you definitely want to book your next special event here. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to make Virginia your next destination. Perfect. Now let's record it. Okay. All right, great. See you, great. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> we did it. Oh, I forgot. I gotta send it back to Barry, don't I? <laughs> I was thinking about the food. Sorry. Welcome back to Simple Eats. We are pretty lucky. With seasonal menus sourced from local farmers markets, Simple Eats Wonderful Staff invites you for a truly unique dining experience. Host your Christmas and office parties or bridal and baby showers. Simple Eats on Shore Drive, Virginia Beach's most charming bistro.